Hey, what's up YouTube? DIY guy here, and today we're working on my 2017 Honda Ridgeline, and I'm gonna be installing the North Mountain tonneau cover um, on the back of it. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps on that. So let's get started. Okay, so just to start off, um, we have the parts laid out here. We have the tonneau cover, and we have the left and the right side rails, and then we have a foam strip here. And then down here we have the hardware. So we're gonna have six of these, and then we're gonna have six total of these pieces, but there's actually two short ones that go in the rear. They're marked, as you can see, they're marked rear there. So uh, there's those, and then we have the hardware here. Now these, um, I don't see a marking for left and right, but there you're gonna have them like this if you're at the back of the truck you'll have the velcro facing up and then these are the uh, notches for when you latch the tonneau cover in so uh the next step here after getting the uh, hardware out is to uh, get in the truck bed and we have to remove some of the torx bolts okay so there's three torx bolts on each side you can see them here one two, three, here, and then three on the other side. So the first thing we need to do is use a T30 uh, Torx to take that out. Okay, so I'm just using a powered Torx driver just to make it a little bit quicker since I got to do all six of these here. Okay, so the next step is to lay the tonneau cover across the back here. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like when you get here, just kinda even it out on both sides. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, set the rails, the side rails up on here. And we're gonna to slide this under here and attach that. Okay, now with the side rail up here, next we're, we're gonna do is slide this here into the slot that's on here. So we can slide that in there. You can see it slide in there. Just make sure you push it in all the way. And then what we're gonna do is take the uh, Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna tighten down both of these screws here. Okay, now after that's tightened, we go over to the other and side. And on this side here, we're going to slide that into the slot. Make sure this is out of the way. This slid all the way in. And then we're going to tighten these screws and make sure they're both tight. Okay, so I've got the hardware laid out here like this. I've got um, six pairs of the large washers, and then I've got six large washers with the small washers. So we're going to take each of the brackets. First thing we're going to do is take a small washer and a large washer pair. Then we're going to take one of these put it through there and then we're going to take a pair of the large washers and put that on there then we're going to screw this in here again this doesn't need to be tight just uh, need to do all those now we're going to do six of these the same way Again, it's small washer, large washer, and then two large washers. So we'll do all six of those and get it ready. 
Okay, so I got all six done. Uh, just remember that there's two here that say rear on them. So um, set those aside so that you don't get them confused. Uh, what we're going to do now is take these and use these to attach that rail to the truck bed. Okay, so I'm going to attach the first one on here. Now you'll see each one of these has a groove here that's going to fit right on this little ledge. So set it, make sure it's, it's on there and kind of give you the side view of that. So you see that's on there. And then the next thing we're going to do is line that up with the factory holes that, where we took those out initially. And we're going to use the uh, factory Torx bolts that came out of that. Let's see if it upside down. <clears throat> and now we're going to put those back in and just put, it, put them in by hand. And then we're going to come back and make put, put all these in hand tight. And then we'll come back and we'll make some adjustments. Okay, now that these are all in, I'm going to make sure that the groove is on there. And then come back with the Torx wrench and tighten that back up, the bottom, the bottom one on each one of these. Make sure the top part is seated. Okay, now I'm going to go back and do the other five and move to the next step. Okay, so this is the fiddly part here. You have six of these brackets. Um, so you want to make sure that the up in the front corner is pushed up close. Let's see if we can get up. So make sure that you have it pushed up there. Um, and these need to be somewhat snug, but you need to be able to adjust them because this bracket moves up and down, and this is still loose here. So. I, I pushed everything forward that way and then pull this up and push this down with my thumb so I can make sure they're, make sure that's on there. And then they give you an Allen wrench to, to make this. So make it, it's not super tight yet because we got to do all the others. Um, I just got two more to do here that are still loose and then we can move to the next okay, step. So now at this point we need to roll the tonneau cover out evenly on both sides. Pull it down. Now, as you can see in here, what we're going to be doing is this is going to lock under here when it flops down. But when I got that one there. If you look over on this side, it's way too short. So I've got, what I've got to do, uh, and this is kind of the tedious process, but I've got to roll that back up and then loosen, push this rail in and the other rail in. So make sure they're aligned evenly, but um, they both need to be moved in so that this, um, this plastic will fit in there. Okay, now as you can see, I've got mine adjusted pretty well now. It's gonna fit in that side and over on this side, fits in nice and tightly. So the last thing on this is to pull it down until it snaps in. Now you can see it's pretty tight across the back there. Um, now there is a strap in here that's attached to a wire which you can see there and when you pull that it essentially is this, this wire here pulling in the metal tabs because those are those are what goes go in there so that's what loosens it up okay so in order to keep it watertight as much as possible you want to go around after you've rolled it out Pull it up nice and tight along there and get the Velcro. 
Okay, one thing I noticed that uh, they're really not very good instructions on, but this is a foam strip all the way across here, and sort in order to keep it weather tight, when you got your trunk up, this flap would need to be pulled up so that this foam strip has a better seal on there. So in order to get that down, you almost have to do this, do one corner, and make sure this flap is pulled all the way out. And that way, uh, the rain will run off that instead of rolling into it inside the bed. Well, that's the installation process for the North Mountain Tonneau cover. It's pretty straightforward. There's just uh, a few adjustments, adjustments to be made, which are not too bad. Um, the instructions are okay. Um, and hopefully this helped you. If it did, please leave a like down on the video for me and consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. I'm going to be making some more Honda Ridgeline videos. Thanks.